out here in our green patch. All right. Yeah. What is up, everybody? Uh, you got Sean Cook, Tony Merle here, back with another Hunter Specialties Live. We got Hunt Camp Report, week seven coming Number at you. Week seven. Uh, you know, hunting season's here. It's here. It feels like it outside. We're enjoying some uh, cooler weather. It's still not as cold as cooler we'd like it. Cooler is the key. Yeah, cooler. <laughs> so I actually did a little bit of hunting last weekend, went over to Alabama, and uh, it was the first week of opening bow season. And so you get so you get a whole month of bow before rifle comes in. And uh, so the first week is always antler bucks only. So went out, saw some deer, um, actually saw some young bucks, but no shooters, and uh, but still had a great time in the woods for sure. You got any big boys on camera? Got a few. Got a few that are definitely on our hit list. Definitely on the hit list. This is kind of the so we've had the property for ten years. This is kind of the first year where every one of our cameras in different spots has good deer on it. Dude. I like how, that ringtone, Jason. Mm-hmm. Johnny many, Cash. How many bucks do you have on your hit list? Uh, that's, that's an interesting Depends question. Depends on who walks out. Uh, so we've got Depends a couple. Depends on how late in the season it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it depends on how desperate I am uh, towards the end. But now we've got a couple that are that are definitely coal bucks that um just kind of have big trashy racks but you know they're not your symmetrical those like, are cool though yeah I, I enjoy those those are actually really cool bucks and um so we've got some old mature deer that i, I think will definitely make the hit list I, i'd say there's about five or six that i'm looking at nice he's been he, he anytime he goes to camp he comes back to the office yeah. like guys you, you gotta <laughs> see these trail camp pictures. and there's actually about a 250 pound <laughs> hog that i that i really want this year yeah so you need to kill him that's almost uh yeah you don't want those you know, yeah. we we could chew through property. a lot of pork at lunchtime here yeah. if you bring us some pork. Yeah, oh, well, I hope I get him on the ground. Fire up the smoker. That's yeah. right. Heck yeah. Well, he's a big boy, so I would say he's on my hit list too. You know, away from whitetail, but that's right. Well, for a good speaking season. of hit lists, yeah. David Mass. Oh yeah. If you guys have been following along, that that's that's impressive. So that's a second buck so far that we've seen that has been either on the grow em and show em. Yeah. Or and or the hit list that has, has hit the ground already this season. So, so That's it, awesome. if if you saw our post yesterday and if you've been following us throughout the yeah. summer, David Mass actually won our Grom and Show 'em grand prize uh, towards the end of July with a, a, just a, a trail cam picture of a stud buck yeah. that he had. Actually, had two studs. And that was the one where you guys actually, you know, we we picked five of the best ones and you guys were actually able to vote for it. Yeah, and uh, that was a stud buck. Yeah, so he won the whole thing then, and now he's finally put that deer on the ground yeah. a couple of days ago. Yeah. Uh, so and, and so you can relax the rest of the season. You know, you're like, all right, pressure's uh, I, I off. Got my buck down. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He's still got some big ones on there. I don't. Okay. I don't know what the bag limit for bucks is in Oklahoma, but well, it puts the pressure on your friends to try and you know, try and cover you. So. Right. You're nothing wrong with uh, getting a red arrow earlier in the season. No, nothing wrong at and all. Big boy walks out now. No reason to wait. And, and see, that's the thing. Like this little cool front we got, I, I was hoping it would come through a little quicker. Like Saturday and Sunday were so hot. It, I, it was 80, 80 degrees in the field. So Saturday we just set up a few stands and such. And you're in you're in southern Alabama. Yeah. Is, it, is it more central or southern? Alabama? Uh, it's in between. It's it's yeah. a little south of Montgomery, but it, so I, w I would say southern. Um, so it was it was hot. Not much moving, but I did see some deer. Yeah, I'd be curious to hear what folks that are watching and what temperatures have been in their areas. Yeah. I know, I mean, it's been, we're sitting in Georgia right now, and it's almost co November. Co cool to us right now, our cold front is 40s in the mornings and 70s for highs during the day. So yeah. I'd be curious to hear, you know, people farther north, what they've been having up in Iowa, Wisconsin, Missouri. Well, I know I went up to the new farm that I'll be hunting uh, actually in about three weeks in Illinois to set up some uh, mock scrapes and check some trail cameras and stuff. And the the temperature from the time I left to the time I got there, it was a full 25 degree swing. Oh wow, huge front That's what you're there. looking for in the middle of October. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And a lot of times those deer will move before and after those fronts and or, yeah. or storm. So always a, a good time to get out in the woods. That's right. So it's definitely, uh, hunting season is definitely in full swing. We've 
I think if there's, you know, for elk seasons that are going right now, they're probably into their gun seasons out, out west for the most part. And whitetail seasons, I mean, I'd say those are pretty much open throughout the country yeah, now, too. Way. And uh, bow seasons especially, and as we get later, typically more gun seasons will open up. Yep. Uh, I know, you know, like in Iowa, they've got an early muzzleloader season in October usually. So uh, look forward to seeing more and more pictures of uh, uh, deer and other animals getting down. Maybe if you put down a big hog like he's got on his property, would love to see yeah, that. Yeah, post cool. it, share, share it, you know, let us know where you're hunting. That's that right. would be fun. Right. Um, so, Tony, you mentioned earlier that you found a box of T-shirts. I did. So we we did a we did a T-shirt giveaway last week, and as I was rooting around and and find, find some shirts for those people, I actually came across a few more. So yeah, I'm feeling kind of generous today. I I want to give away a T-shirt to okay. somebody. Okay. Now, uh, so you can't you can't just give one away. What do they got to do? I don't know. And this is gonna be right here, right now. What do you guys think? How about this? Right now, the first person that can send us a picture just from the field this year, from hunting this year, will get a t-shirt. Go. So whoever sends, yeah. Jason's going to have to watch and see who sends us a picture uh, from the field. So whoever that is, you'll get a, a HS t-shirt. I can even pull it up on my phone so we can watch too. If, oh, yeah. Because I know those comments sometimes don't show up on the camera itself. It can right, be weird sometimes. Right. but. It's yeah. got to be weird watching yourself on the phone. Get on there if you've got a picture from your stand, or, or if you've been out in the field and you're watching, post it. And if if you're the first one, you know we'll get your t-shirt size from you. And uh, oh wow, check this out. So talking about weather, Riley Miller just said Northeast Oregon they had snow last night. Oh wow. Uh huh. I know they've they've had snow a couple times out in Colorado now. Yeah, too. that seems crazy. I mean, we're late to uh, October though. I mean, yeah. It, it's crazy that it's still this warm in, in, in our area. I mean, the south, though, it's just yeah. the way it is. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that, I mean, so that that's how polar it is. Everyone that's watching is just, oh, yeah. I mean, that's it's either really cold or hot. That's what's really cool about the Hunt Camp Report. You're hearing from people all throughout the country. You've got people from, from Georgia to Oregon telling us what's going on. So, mm -hmm. I mean, what other opportunity do you have to really get an insight of just, you know, hunting throughout the country? Heck, if you were going to Oregon, it's, it, you might want to hook up with uh, your guy there that, yeah. that's, been, that's been out in hey, Oregon. Hey, uh, Riley Miller said he sent a PM to the page. You guys can also post the pictures in the comments, but it looks like Riley yeah. uh, first one to, was the first one really to, to send in a picture. Okay. So. okay. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Sweet. So it sounds like you're getting a shirt. Let us know. Uh, send us a, a, a message like you sent the, the picture there, and yeah. let us know what your address is and the shirt size and everything. We'll get that out to you. Heck yeah. Well, congratulations, and uh, That's right. well, maybe we'll, we'll do something yeah, like stay that on, tuned. The, there, on the fly. Th there may or may not be a few more shirts available to give away in future yeah. weeks, so uh, you'll have to stay tuned with us. But uh, since we're in the giveaway mood, why don't yeah. we talk about who won this week's weekly giveaway? So each week, as you know, if, if you've tuned in, we've been giving away you know, a, bio, a sent away BioStrike prize pack. And uh, that comes with an item from pretty much each of our scent control system steps. Yep. One, two, three. Three step system. One, close. close body, body. and field. Oh, Nathan well, uh oh, now we have a problem. Looks like we're gonna have to give away two shirts. Nathaniel Melton didn't know where to post his either, so he posted his to the page. So we'll yeah. just go ahead and okay. give a shirt to yeah. Nathaniel. Give it, give it the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So so we'll give away two shirts, that, that works. Uh, how big is this box you found, Tony? Pretty good. Let's put it this Can way. Can I get a shirt? They're, they're, no, Cookie. Sure. You're not getting a shirt. No, you're not qualified for a okay. shirt. You've already got a shirt. You're wearing it right now. Oh, yeah. Where, where do I get one of those? Oh, by the way, that's coming out of your check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so we, there's, a, there's a couple left in the box. Yeah. So uh, just saying may or may not be given some. Tony, you, you've got a lot of hats in your office. We can give away all your hats. Start we, were, away Tony's we, closet. we were actually just talking about how we have. Of course, too they might have soup on them, so they may not want them. Well, <laughs> and oatmeal. Yeah, yeah super oatmeal, oatmeal all over his hats. You might want to go out and watch the Buck Bomb Facebook Live and see, see what happened last <laughs> night. Uh, but, uh, so, so, who's our winner? So, so we talked about this. You're going to get our sent away Bio Strike prize pack. It comes with four items total. Uh, Thirty-two ounce spray. Yep. Body wash, laundry detergent, and odor shield. So that I mean that is a great starter to get you out in the field and prepared yeah. and the scent 
off of you. Not to mention... Apparently the BioStrike, BioStrike uh, system is working pretty well because I believe that's what David... That's what uh, David won as part of the... Mm -hmm. Being the grand prize winner for the Grow'em and yeah. Show'em. And, mm -hmm. and got a stud on the ground. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't seem to get winded. Take note. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing worse than being out of the field and, and having a, whether it's a doe or just something early in the hunt, catching wind of you and just blowing it. It'll it'll make you so mad. Yeah, you get a, you get a, one of those old mature mature does, especially yeah. if she gets wind of you. I've had them do it before. Just, just stand sit there and blow there, for 15 minutes. Stomp well, and that's blow. That's what she's asking to get an arrow through. Long yeah, as she yeah. You know, that, that's the way I like to deal with that. <laughs> well, Tony, you got to deal with it with bio strike. <laughs> The, you got to take the steps no. so that never you never get to that point. Wait, did you say Valid did point. you say send an arrow through her or at her? <laughs> at her. Yeah, okay, that's a little <laughs> that's more a big accurate. difference. Yeah, <laughs> that might make her blow even. More so, up. so we're stalling this out. Who, who's the winner? Who's the winner for our week seven Bio Strike prize pack? Did you, Royce, Carnley. Royce Carnley. You are the winner. Congrats. Congratulations. Bud. So, comment. Um, send us a message directly. We can't direct message you from the from the uh, company page, and uh, let us know where you like it to be shipped, and we'll get your pack out to you. All right. So for anybody who hasn't maybe been following along um, since we're seven weeks into this thing, we might have some new people checking in. That's a great point. Why don't you? Why don't we grand remind prize. them what the grand prize is going to be? Yeah. So let's just do an overview of how it works every week. As you probably know by now, each week, actually tonight we'll go up the next week will be the week eight tonight we'll put up the hunt camp report post and throughout the next week just you know come on in there let us know what's going on in your area but each week that you share that post you will not only be entered for that week's weekly bio strike giveaway but each week that you share it you'll get another entry for the grand, grand prize. prize and that grand prize is a november 2018 bow hunt at imb outfitters in missouri all you got to do is get yourself there with your gear, and we'll cover the tags and the fees of, of hunting there. And and just to clarify, say you shared every week and got into the entering to win our weekly. That say, say you did eight of them. That'll give you eight entries into the grand prize. So That's they right. do build up and they do overlap. So yeah, it's like preference points. Yeah, That's right. you get on there every week, give yourself more of a chance to get into the grand prize hunt. That's right. So keep up with this. It'll only work out in your favor, and don't be, don't be disappointed if you haven't won a uh, one of the weekly giveaways. Because yeah. every week you share it, you're getting yourself a better chance to win that grand prize. Heck yeah. Yeah. And then that's gonna be a fun time. That's gonna be sure. great. Yeah, I, it's, 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 I mean, the, the hunting's gonna be fun. Yeah. I mean, you hang know. out with this guy. I mean, you're gonna have Tony there to cook you soup every night <laughs> and oatmeal every hey, morning. Yeah. Hope you like tomato soup. Keep a keep a fire going. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, He's really good at laundry too, so yeah. we'll have plenty of BioStrike laundry detergent. I will be ready to go. Yeah. There, I promise you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I guess that wraps up week seven. Yeah. Um, another good time talking hunting, That's and uh, best of luck to you guys out in the field. Yeah. Um, if you're getting out there hunting, you know, stay safe. Always practice your, you know, safe climbing, safe hunting. Use your safety yeah. harness. Yeah. Um, keep, yeah, keep the reports it. coming in. Yeah, absolutely. it's gonna it's gonna start getting good. I mean, oh yeah, we we're, are we're right around there. the corner to where the bucks are just gonna lose it, and it, it's it's about to get really really good. Heck yeah! Yep. All right, guys, we'll uh, get Sean and Tony here signing out. See you guys next week, one o'clock.